Hello and welcome. Continuing with our lessons of word problem involving ratios, we have a question over here which says, A millionaire leaves $1.4 million in his will to be shared between his three children in the ratio of their ages. If they are 24, 28 and 32 years old, calculate the amount they will each receive. First of all, we are going to write their ages in terms of ratio. So we write here 24, ratio 28, ratio 32. And these three values are divisible by 2. So we reduce them and we will have on further reducing we will have 6 ratio 7 ratio 8 so first we are going to find out first of all we are going to find out the sum of these three numbers which is equivalent to 21 now we are going to find out the amount for each individual First of all, we will going to find out the amount for the one whose age is 24. Here, we write in the numerator the value which is 6. It is the ratio of the one whose age is 24. We are going to divide this value with the total amount which is 21 and multiply it with the total amount of the well, which is 1.4 million dollars. On solving these values, we will have a result 0.4 million dollars. In a similar way, we are going to find out the amount for the second whose age is 28 and the corresponding ratio is 7 so 7 comes in the numerator and in the denominator we will have the sum of the three ratios which is 21 and now we are going to multiply this with the amount which is 1.4 million dollars now we have 0 0.47 million dollars and now for the last one whose age is 32 and the corresponding ratio is 8 we are going to find out the amount of will which comes out as 0 0.53 on solving now we have calculated the amount for all the three children. If we add up all these three values, we will have the total amount which is 1.4 million dollars. Here we have another question which says that six people can dig a trench in eight hours. How long would it take with four people so as we know we are going to solve this step by step as we know that six people are doing this work in 40 in eight hours now if one person can do the same work he or she has to work more hours so we are going to multiply 6 with 8 because one person has to perform the task of the 6 person so definitely the hours increases so we have 48 hours now we come to know that a one person can do a similar task in 48 hours so how about four people 
Now we have total number of hours for the one person. If we divide this for four people, then we can easily find out the number of hours it will take to perform by four people. And it comes out as 12 hours. So the similar crunch which was ticked by 6 people in 8 hours can be ticked by 4 people in 12 hours. Similarly in B part we have to find out that how long it would take if 12 people are going to dig a trench. From the previous uh, part, we know that it takes 48 hours for the one person. So if we divided the 48 hours over 12 people, we will come out with the answer, which is 4 hours. So the 12 people will dig a trench in 4 hours. Now in B part, we have to find out that how many people would it take to dig the trench in 3 hours. In A part, we were solving the question with respect to the number of people. Now we are going to solve with respect to the number of hours. As we know that 6 people are required to perform the task in 8 hours. So we say that In order to perform task in 8 hours, 6 people are required. Now, in order to perform task in 1 hour, similarly, you multiply 6 into 8, which is equivalent to 48 people are required. Now, in order to perform the task in 3 hours, we are simply going to divide 48 with 3. So we have the answer which is 16. So in order to perform the same task in 3 hours, 16 people are required. In second part, we have to find out that how many people are required to perform the task in 16 hours. We know that in order to perform the task in 1 hour, we need 48 people. Now we are going to simply divide 48 with 16 and we will have answer 3. So 3 people are required to perform the similar task in 16 hours. In this way we have solved this word problem. Here we have another question which says that chairs in a hall are arranged in 35 rows of 18 each. And we have to find out that how many rows would there be with 21 chairs in our row. So first of all, we are going to find out the total number of chairs. And for that, we are simply going to multiply the number of chairs in each row with the total rows. 35. So we will have the total number of chairs, which is 630. Now we have to find out that how many rows would there be with 21 chairs in our row. We are going to simply divide this value with 21 in order to know that how many rows are required. And the answer of this is 30 which means if there are 21 chairs in each row there would be 30 rows. Now look at the B part of this question, which says that how many chairs would there be in each row if there were 15 rows. In part A, we were solving with respect to the number of rows. Now, we are going to solve with respect to the number of chairs. But the procedure remains the same, that is, the total number of chairs are, as we know from part A and by multiplying 35 into 18, the total number of chairs are 630. So how many chairs would be in each row if there were 15 row? We are going to simply divide this number by 15. So we came to know that how many chairs are in each row and it comes out as 
42. So if there are 15 rows, then there will be 42 tiers in each row. Here we have another question which says that a worker in a sugar factory packs 24 card boxes with 15 bags of sugar in each. If he had boxes which held 18 bags of sugar each, how many fewer boxes would be needed? In order to solve this width problem, first of all we need to find out the number of card box board boxes required with 18 bags of sugar in each. We know that there are 24 cardboard boxes with 15 bags each. By multiplying these two, we can find out the total number of sugar bags, which are 360. Now, in order to find out the number of cardboard boxes with 18 bags in each, we are simply going to divide this with 18 and we have an answer 20. So with 15 bags of sugar we had 24 cardboard boxes and with 18 bags of sugar we have 20 cardboard boxes. In order to find out the last part which is says that how many fewer boxes would be needed we are going to simply subtract 20 from 24 so basically if we pack 18 bags of sugar in each cardboard we need four fewer boxes hope these videos are helpful in understanding different concept of mathematics do visit and subscribe my channel thank you for watching